Recipe, Black-Eyed Pea Cakes with Creole Mayo Black-eyed peas are a huge part of the rich food culture of the South and have been in Southern recipes for generations. They're probably most well known for the superstition that they are good luck when eaten on New Year's Day. That's a tradition we've always had in our family. My mom has even insisted on keeping a few black-eyed peas in your wallet in the hopes they will ensure that you always have money. Regardless of whether all that is true, they sure are delicious. These black-eyed pea cakes with Creole mayo are the perfect way to have them, too. Y'all just have to try them. These things are some serious comfort food. Yes, they take a little more time to make, but starting with Margaret Home seasoned black-eyed peas is the perfect way to make them easier. They've got tons of great southern-style flavor cooked right in, which gives the cakes so much flavor without you having to do any work. Start by making the Creole mayo. It's as simple as stirring together one half cup mayo, one clove of minced garlic and one half teaspoon creole seasoning, then keep it in the fridge while you cook the cakes. Melt some butter in a small skillet over medium heat. Add one half small onion and a clove of garlic and cook until tender. Be cautious not to scorch the garlic. It can get bitter if it gets burnt. Next, drain the peas. Drain one can, then the other. You'll need to keep them separate. Take one can and place them in a large bowl. Use a fork, or even a potato masher, to mash them up really well. Stir in the cooked onions and garlic along with the egg. Add in some all-purpose flour and self-rising corn meal. Then stir in the other can of peas. Keeping these whole gives the cakes great texture. You'll want the batter to be thick, but not too thick like cookie dough. Add a little water if you need to. Cook them by pouring a thin layer of vegetable oil in a heavy bottomed skillet I like to use cast iron. Heat it over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, add about 3 tablespoons of the batter. Use the back of a spatula to flatten the batter into a cake shape. Cook for about 2 minutes, then flip them over and press them again to about 1 half inch to 3 fourths inch thick. Cook for an additional one and a half to two minutes or until cooked through and golden brown. Drain on paper towels. Serve warm with Creole mayo. Black-eyed pea cakes with Creole mayo. Prep time, 15 minutes. Cook time, 15 minutes. Total time, 30 minutes. Serves 13 cakes. Ingredients. 1 tablespoon butter. 1 half small onion finely chopped. 1 clove garlic, minced. 2, 15 oz, cans Margaret Home seasoned black eye peas. 1 egg. 1 fourth cup all-purpose flour. 1 half cup self-rising cornmeal. Vegetable oil for frying. For the Creole mayo. 1 half cup mayonnaise. 1 clove garlic, minced. 1 half teaspoon Creole seasoning. I used Zatarain's. Instructions For the Creole Mayo Make the Creole Mayo by combining the mayonnaise, minced garlic and Creole seasoning in a small bowl. Refrigerate For the cakes Melt the butter in a small skillet over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and garlic and cook until translucent and soft. Drain the peas very well separately one can, then another. Place one can of the drained peas in a large bowl and use a fork to mash them well. Add the cooked onion and garlic and egg. Mix well. Stir in the flour, cornmeal and the other can of whole drained peas and stir to combine. The batter should be thick, but thinner than cookie dough. Add a little water if it is too thick. Heat a thin layer of vegetable oil in a large, heavy bottomed skillet, cast iron works great, over medium heat. Carefully drop about 3 tablespoons of batter in the hot oil. Use the back of a spatula to flatten them. Cook for 2 minutes on one side, then flip and press flat again. Cook an additional 1 one half to 2 minutes, or until crisp and golden brown. Cook in batches, adding additional oil if necessary, and drain on paper towels. Serve warm with Creole mayo.